Hello everyone, I am Manoop, Research Scholar, Department of Computer Science, University of Calicut. Today we would like to discuss uh, something about a content management system and how practically install a particular content management system Joomla on your local host machines. So these are the topic which we would like to discuss the entire module. But uh, I plan to divide the entire module into two small parts, uh, 20 minute parts. In the first part we will discuss uh, introductory things about Joomla and in the second part uh, we will practically install uh, Joomla on your local machines. Okay, so let us begin. So uh, the first question is that what is a content management system? As we know the content management system is a software application or a set of related programs that are used to create and manage digital content. So the major objective or motivation of a content management system is to manage digital content. So what is a digital content? A digital content is nothing but uh, you have several kind of digital content, content, in, your, content in your digital in your pocket. Um, for example you have uh, uh, images in your uh, mobile phone or a desktop PC, you have a uh, bundle of uh, text document, you have a bundle of video documents and you have uh, uh, plenty of uh, audio documents. So you want to manage these uh, different type of digital content very easily and effectively so that you can approach a content management system. So this is what uh, basically a content management system and uh, typically this content management system can be divided into two different categories the first category is enterprise content management system and uh, second one is web content management system which termed as uh, ECM for enterprise content management system and uh, WCM for uh, web content management system so let us uh, briefly look uh, what is an enterprise content management system so enterprise content management system facilitate uh, uh, you know enterprise content management system is uh, is also managing the uh, digital documents so which kind of digital document uh, uh, is interested uh, with the enterprise content management system it's actually the con uh, the uh, document regarding with a particular organization so if you have an organization a company and uh, you want to uh, manage all the digital document like uh, uh, the payroll of uh, payroll of employee and uh, the income of your company and uh, so many things are there related with the company you want to manage all those kind of things you want to manage the employee you want to manage uh, the purchase and you want to manage even though you want to manage uh, the customers of your um, um, uh, customers of your uh, company so how we can easily manage you can easily manage with uh, the help of some kind of software that kind of software is generally termed as enterprise content management system or ECM so it is a uh, it is a it is a workplace or it is a uh, platform to <coughs> sorry it's a platform to manage all the document in your uh, organization digital asset management um, record uh, retention functionalities and even though it provide end user with role based access so it provide nice interaction with the end users so this is a typically enterprise management system enterprise content management system so next we will look uh, what is a web based content management system as you can see web based content management system facilitate collaborate authoring for website so it is mainly uh, deal something with the website if you want to create a collaborative website what is a collaborative uh, collaborative authoring website so for example you will consider an online magazine so your department you want to con you want to create an online magazine so what are the different uh, uh, level of users with your uh, magazine now we can consider uh, for example um, an author is there what is an author so authors are always creating the articles so maybe uh, somebody is creating poems somebody is uh, uh, creating a story somebody is creating cartoons and all so all this kind of content creator we can term as an author and after authoring uh, somebody needs to design the particular page 
so that is we can say editor so any if you want to any editing any changes the other cannot do any changes any modification i mean the uh, in the look and feel so all those kind of editing will be done by the editor and after editor uh, perfectly done everything then what will be happen it will be move into the uh, phase of uh, a publisher so publisher will publish all the article into the front end i mean the public space so uh, different level of authors are there all the authors can be have different access levels so the author cannot uh, have the permission to publish the article right so different level of authors and uh, different level of uh, access permission so this is what a collaborative authoring so different authors can be uh, different level of authors can be working together and they can publish they can maintain a website very easily with the help of this kind of web based web content management systems okay so the last point you can see ecm software often include a web content management publishing functionality but what is the difference so in every case the ecm enterprise content management system web pages typically remain behind the organization firewall nothing is visible outside the firewall outside the public space the public cannot be accessible with uh, the ecm uh, but uh, web web, C, web wcm is always available to the public space so that is what the major difference between the ecm and uh, the wcm okay so let us uh, briefly discuss some of the benefits provided by the content management system so uh, the first one is it is quick and easy page management so it provide the content management system provide quick and easy page management so what is a page management a page management is nothing but if you want to create a html page a web page it is very easy uh, to create and manage the page in uh, the content management system anyway uh, in the coming section we will practically see how to manage pages so you can uh, uh, it is very clear it is very easy the the concept is very easy the page publishing is very easy you can um, practically approach with a, a benefit okay so uh, the next point is enable non technical user to easily publish content so the platform is not uh, for a technical user or a techy techy user it is it is also can be easily used with uh, non techy users non technical users so uh, the best example is if you know how to publish uh, an email that much simple to publish a particular page in your content management system it is something similar to publishing uh, sending an email so it is very easy and uh, the next point is database driven as you know all the articles all the images all the videos all the digital content you are content you are uploaded into the web page is going into is uh, pushing into a particular database maybe mysql or mysql i whatever it is you can use that's up to your uh, level and anyway all the things will be uh, put into a database so the, the cms is uh, basically a data driven and uh, most pro most of the cmss have been created with mvc architecture mvc architecture okay the next one is approval system approval system we already discussed uh, in a collaborative authoring we need different level of users and different level of users have different level of approving uh, mechanism accessing mechanism so we can uh, classify categorize the user with different level of uh, access permissions so uh, we already discussed the magazine case the case of magazine that is mm, mm, for example uh, if the author publish uh, the author ha does not have the permission to publish the article the publisher should have the only the publisher have the permission to publish the article into the public world so that is different level of access level uh, and the approval system and uh, next one is most interesting property of a content management system uh, that is mobile ready so what is a mobile ready nowadays we can see all the applications are very friendly with uh, uh, the mobile phones all the web applications are ready to play with the mobile phone mobile gadgets so what is 
it it is responsive all the pages are responsive it is automatically uh, uh, ready to work with mobile phones tablet and all so in the same way joomla website or the cms web pages are uh, nowadays it is active it is easily or it is ready to work with uh, mobile phones mobile phone, mobile phones then comes uh, archive capability so if you want to archive the article for articles for a long time it is easily you can done with a content management system you can archive all the articles all the textual articles or the audio articles all the video articles for a long time uh, with a easy management okay then security security aspects uh, all the cmss provide uh, some level of security like uh, when you are registering a user uh, they provide ca uh, captcha mechanism uh, so and so so this kind of uh, some level of security they provide the cmss provide and comes the last point that is search engine friendly so most of the content management system provide uh, very uh, powerful mechanisms for uh, obtaining um, the search engine optimization so uh, like uh, metadata 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 uh, parameter you can put easily put uh, the metadata parameter into the um, article so it will be very easy to uh, optimize the search engine so they are also ready to work with the search engine friendly framework or search engine friendly web pages so these are some of the benefits uh, regarding with uh, the content management systems so next uh, these are uh, some of the top most uh, content management system available in the internet so joomla is one of the most popular and uh, uh, top most uh, content management system so which can be uh, Uh, copied from the website www.joomla.org you can go to the website and see what are the uh, functionality of joomla you want to study more in more detail uh, so you can approach this web url www.joomla.org so this is what the nice um, logo which is created for joomla and the second one is wordpress wordpress can be available at uh, www. wordpress.com and uh, the wordpress is most suitable for uh, particularly uh, for the blogs web blogs and drupal drupal is uh, another uh, is another uh, cms platform drupal you can catch with uh, from drupal drupal.org and uh, this is uh, two different uh, logos created for web the wordpress and uh, drupal and uh, some of the malayalam newspapers uh, online newspapers are working with uh, the platform drupal.org so uh, these are the fundamental things which you want to note uh, in the case of a content management system so next we 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 are looking into how to install the joomla in your local machine so before that Uh, your local machine uh, needs to set up with uh, a web uh, server uh, apache is most suitable and uh, a database server i told you we discussed already discussed uh, the cmss are uh, database friendly and they are working with database so what we need we definitely we need a database server so we we need to install apache web server and i hope i i'll be planning with mysql so i have installed mysql database server so this is what the uh, first part of uh, this module the next part we will uh, jump into how to install uh, the joomla uh, in your local host machine so Once again I'm Anu uh, research scholar department of computer science university of calicut thank you have a great day and uh, I'm going to save the presentation okay so thank you so much for watching me